So the first thing to creating your different shapes of padding is So the first thing to creating your different shapes of padding is or rather your padding comes like this right okay your padding comes like this then you want to go ahead to cut this padding into two like you just cut it through into two so after cutting your padding into two you have this shape u shape so you can either have this u shape as um for your chignon bun or you can open it up like this hmm. so you can open it up like this for example you want to create a square shape I'm talking to you. you want to create a square shape so you start folding it in like this inside don't forget to stretch out as you're folding can you see can you see So don't forget to stretch out arrange as you go you don't want one side slimmer than the other side so we have like this is not like square shape it's like rectangle shape so you can use this to create a different shape of um your chignon bone right so this is the kind of shape you have if you're using this shape of padding then you can also have the cylindrical yeah i think i should call this cylinder now cylindrical shape so you take it um, little by little inside you just wrap it in if you want the square shape you just like probably widen this right but if you feel like the style you are doing is not going to need square you can't do square or shape you know so you feel it's not thick enough for this type of padding if you feel it's not thick enough you can cut open up another um bone and wrap it around again so for this type of padding now you can see you cannot use it for this shape of signal bone you have to probably use it for like um for example a style that you want to place air on so you just put in the middle of the head like this to give it that volume and then you start styling on it so you can actually create any shape from this you can create another type of padding i call it any name i want to call it it's just wrapping this round like a ball shape Can you see what I'm doing? Just like a ball shape. So it all still boils down to what style are you looking to achieve? Is the style that will determine what type of 
um, padding shape you make so this is like a ball shape you just probably put in the hair and style on it just to give you volume that's the essence of the padding